Oh dear. He hasn't. He hasn't taken anything yet. Honestly, I'm surprised. The only thing is, is it being I mean, idiot? he's like looted and pillaged and killed the countryside with probably thousands of peasants. But my land, a okay. I'm about to say, who, who, who really? Cares? Yeah, like the people that really matter are fine. Well, I'm building my uh, level four palace, so Super, you know where my money is. Check out this guy's are. name, Duke. Su uh, Duke. Oh, it's Superbus. For some reason, I, I thought it was Superbus, like superb, but it's Superbus. You're about to say it's is, still Superbus. Like, this is what I'm talking about with this mod. The, I don't. Is that a reference to something, or did the guy just think Superbus was a funny name? I mean, I find it a funny name. Like, was there somebody down south named Superbus? I just imagine a bus with a cape. I yeah, Superbus yeah. There you go. Just stick that one in your head for a little bit. Like, was there a famous football player named Superbus? Like, like I want to know the story there. He was the Superbus. They bus. called him the Superbus. I mean, you've got football players called the Fridge and stuff like that. Why not Superbus? <laughs> like, there's already a guy named Bus, but this guy was way better than him. Oh, the adventurer that came over didn't like that he has a 2K and I have 7K. Oh, poor him. Hi, buddy. I'm going to kill you now. This is what I hate about these raiders. They're way too fast. I got to Like, the situation I'm put in with these kind of raiders is that I just have to, even though it's suicide for those hundred men, raise my demence right on top of them just to slow them down yep. along, long enough for my army to get there. Well, but that's the problem with those is they don't like you can't do anything with their ships. Like if you could sink their yeah, ships, yeah, I know. Right? Be like what, what's up with that Crusader Kings? I can't like blockade them in. Like it's clearly a, a, a early Carrick. Those things had guns on it, them. That's what the Spanish Armada was. Ships like this. Maybe well, I mean, maybe, maybe fire a, a ships little back more in the day or yeah. galleys. Just yeah, like anything. Uh, I, it's just a just a whole thing. That I know would be a gameplay nightmare for them to implement, but it's just Crusader Kings Three. Get on that. Yeah, get on that, please. Crusader Kings Three is never happening. They're just going to DLC this game till the till the sun explodes. <laughs> I mean, by this point, people have put. I think there was like a Reddit thread where basically someone's like. You know, by this point, I put so much money into Crusader Kings 2, I don't think it's worth See, making a 3 anymore. That's that's the funny thing about it. Crusader Kings is essentially a subscription-based game like World of Warcraft was. They just describe... <laughs> every year like, or so. Like, it's... Every expansion is like 15 to 20 bucks, I think. Um, maybe some of, them, some of the more expensive ones are, I think, 30 bucks. But you're essentially paying a subscription for a single-player game. Yep, and then if you're so far behind, you just play catch up. <laughs> it's not a terrible or do what model we do. because it's not like it's not like a shitty skins update. Like you, they don't require you. Like what they could do, you don't have to buy the skins. Yeah, what they could do is charge you like lump the skins with the gameplay improvements and make you pay for everything. But they give you an option just to buy the gameplay improvements, which I can appreciate. They aren't being total scumbags about it. Yeah, no, seriously. Unlike um, some companies. Some companies. <clears throat> oh god, have you been hearing about Battlefront Two and that kind of shit? Yes, thing? I I saw a thing on Forbes actually talking about how EA has become a punching bag again, and I was like, oh, Battlefront Two. I also read something where um, the stock price for EA since it was declared the worst company in America in 2013 has shot up. It's shot up by like 200 percent. So like that, yeah, which I don't get. That bad press didn't even well. It, stock price doesn't. It's not always public opinion based. It's just, is this company going to make money? Is it continuing Which, to make yes, money? Which, yes, they are because microtransactions. It's shitty because I want to play Battlefront for the story mode and I had fun when I played the beta, but I don't want to, I don't want to encourage bad behavior, even though there's not much I can do because everybody and their mother's going to buy Battlefront 2 that isn't involved in this yeah. kind of loop about knowing about it. Like, well, and that's the thing. <sighs> Like, in half the games they're doing... I, I hate beating the dead horse, but the dead horse is there and smells real bad. They, it's When they push that multiplayer aspect down everyone's throats... Mm -hmm. Like, Battlefront does. Battlefront oh, 2 is supposed to have that. Here's the shitty thing I found about it today. So they implemented this split-screen couch co-op. Everyone loved it when it was announced. Apparently, you can't take it online. Like, it's hard... Like, 
I'm for, not surprised. For some reason, you can't have the co-op connect to a person online. Like, how does that even work logistically? Like, why? how hard is it to make it... Like, it, it, people saw the co-op from Battlefront 1, and they said, this is awesome, but I wish I could play it with my friend next to me. And they said, we'll just gut everything. And so you can just do that. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't get it. And like you had, they had the cert. Like the system was available previously. Like you could do co-op online in the last game. I'm pretty sure. But not anymore. <laughs> but I mean, the, like the multiplayer from what I played was fun. I just don't want to encourage that kind of, you know, business practice. You don't want to throw them money so they keep doing it. Yeah, it's like. I guess you could argue that with Mass Effect Andromeda, that kind of punishment worked, but that's because it was Mass Effect. It didn't have the kind of, like, social media, just kind of cultural awareness that Star Wars has. Like, It had the fan base, but that's different. But Mass Effect's entire fan base is online. Like, so everybody, well, not everybody, like 80% of Mass Effect's fan base is going to hear about all the bullshit that's going on. Like... The even though millions of people are getting onto EA about this, it's not even scratching the surface. You've got everybody under like ten who's gonna get this game, everybody's parents yep. who's gonna buy it for their kid anyway, and anyone who just likes Call of Duty is very happy about it. Or Battlefield games, like, and there are plenty of people. Yeah, or bad. I forgot that's the big one now is Battlefield ones. Well, and the thing is, there are plenty of people with disposable income that are gonna get it anyway, just because. They want to play multiplayer with their friends, and I get that. Like, I could probably, I, I, I would easily be able to get $60 worth of value out of the multiplayer. I got $60 worth of value out of the last game, even though it had some flaws. Yeah, and I can forgive them on the ending on 3. Just, they keep people keep bringing up I forgive them because they at least went back and retconned it with a big chunk of oh, DLC. Yeah, you were talking about Andromeda. Um, yeah, I never finished Andromeda. I yeah, I, no, should, yeah I, I was talking about Andromeda. I should finish because, Andromeda. I may, well, and they keep releasing multiplayer patches and additions, and you can see, it's just like, you can play as this class now. Pay us okay. five bucks and do this thing. It's like, no. I gained I, land somewhere. I'm not sure where. Let me figure that out, and then I'm going to go on to my next rant about Andromeda. I don't know if I talked to you about this, or if I talked to Adam about this, but, like, the way... Uh, probably... Did you like, do you know how the class system works in Andromeda, like the single player mode? I mean, I've heard it's fluid, which supposedly a lot of people liked. Imagine playing Mass Effect. Oh yeah, you. But you can me. you can respec yourself on the fly. Oh boy, yep. what is this? Hold on. Um. Oh, so you're going on a pilgrimage? Yeah, I'm on a pilgrimage. Okay, I was Let wondering me what that was. <laughs> Hold on. I'll be gregarious with you if you want. Where did I get this land? Oh, uh, my guy calls you a friend. Okay, so. You basically can respec on the fly, and it puts you in a situation where you're never weak to anything. It's like Pokemon, if you could change your type of a single Pokemon on the fly. Like, where's the strategy in that? It's like... Exactly. It's like you... If you're playing rock, paper, scissors, and you're allowed to choose your your thing when you see what the other guy's thrown. Like, it takes all the challenge out of it. And... It's like, I get why some people like it, I guess. And that is, that's supposedly one of the main praises the game gets from everything I've Seriously? read. But I'm like, that's... yeah, people are like, it's fluid. And I'm like, mm. No, that's dumb. And they do. They mention specifically, I like how you're not locked into a specific class. That's I'm how like, RPGs eh. work. Like, have people lost their damn <laughs> yes. minds? That's how RPGs are supposed to work. Like, yeah, but, uh, AC, you know, ADD moments. Like, that's what, like... I I know they're trying to get it to a broader audience, but that's how RPGs are supposed to work. It's about tough choices. It's about strategy. It's about weighing the risks versus the benefits. Like that's how RPGs work. It's not. It's about the surprise of not knowing you're actually killing a character. <laughs> yeah, it's not like RPGs aren't like, oh, you can um, you can make this decision, but if it doesn't work out, you can retry it. Like they're safe scumming, but then there's this. It's just like. It's the game encouraging you to do it. It's like insanity. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm surprised people are praising it. Like, 
Yeah, it, I get, it was I get, one of the three big praises. Now, I get fluidity, like, if you have different move sets within a class that you can switch on the fly between. Fine with that, because, you know, with a controller, you're limited to the number of keys you can press. I'm fine with something uh, like that happening, but changing classes on the fr fly just, like, it seems like it makes the game too easy. Where's the fun in that? Yeah, where's the fun? Like, there are plenty of times in KOTOR or Mass Effect or any other RPG where you get to an area that's your hard counter. And you're like, I really got to think about this. And that's why they give you the companions in the first place. So when you come, so they can balance it out. When, so you can balance it out. If you're going up against the Geth, you bring Tally. If you're going up against uh, uh, the bug guys, the Rakshi, that is Bionicles. Um, what <laughs> the Rachni? The Rachni. <laughs> you can bring somebody with psionic abilities. Yeah, or what I do is I always have I always stick Garrus on my team because he has overload, and I'm like I don't have yeah, overload. Yeah. I love well, overload. Well, that's why I only like named one character because Garrus is a lock always. <laughs> Everyone loves him. Everybody. Garrus has Garrus is, like, I mean, Garrus is the best. <laughs> he's if you're the male shepherd, he's the bro. If you're the female shepherd, he's just funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do I give you land? Uh, what the hell? I'm. I'm in a ranty kind I was of wondering if you were still doing stuff while you were paused. I but was, like, I was well, ranting, means. and I was like, maybe I shouldn't be making these kind of game-changing decisions while I'm ranting, but uh, what the hell. <laughs> yeah. No, well, and I haven't heard anything about... that. That's the thing that always kind of makes me sad about at least the most recent game is... And this works with any game, really, but I like this series a lot. But it's that it doesn't sound like the story was that... Great. From everything I've heard, the story was kind of meh. I think the story was relying on DLC to, like, flesh it out. Like, so. The but then they canceled the DLC. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, you know, they did kind of cop out with making it take place after Mass Effect 2, which I get, because it'd be... <laughs> yeah, I, I finally learned that. <laughs> like, I, that makes sense, because you don't want to have to, like, try to figure out how to follow Mass Effect 3 where everybody's essentially stranded in the soul system like how how's that work like um but yeah so it's after two everybody eh, most like the council species they make these arc Arcs. arc style ships and they go off to the andromeda the, galaxy and the quarian ship gets lost or something yeah, i guess well the quarian ship disappears and who i think and a lot of the species teamed up like the elcor and the Hanar, no, no, the Elcor, the Hanar, the and the Kel. Is it the Kel, the green guys? The uh, dr Drell? The Drell. The Drell, they were all on one ship, and that ship, nobody knows what happened to that ship. Um, oh, that sucks. The Quarians, I think, had their own ship. I think they may have had another race with them, too. Um, those Quor those Quarians got the bat in the stick. If they waited 20 more years, they wouldn't be in suits anymore. The uh, Turians... Their ship disappears, but that's I think that's actually resolved in the story. I don't know what happened to the Salarians. No, no, no. God, I don't remember. I, there are plenty of Salarians in the game. No, there aren't. Well, you even have a female Turian on your team, don't you? Yeah, because I'm, cause I'm trying to... Because there are plenty of those council races. But I'm trying to remember if they were just, like, token members. Oh, yeah, good point. Uh, I know the Turian ship definitely disappeared, and you have to find it later. The... A sorry ship, I don't know. I don't know. I I honestly think the the human ship is the only one at the beginning of the game because that's a main plot point finding those arcs, which I can actually kind of enjoy. It's like rediscovering the the species while at the same time you already know who they are. Yeah, it's just very poorly handled. Yeah, well, money, money. It's just, well, and that's why this, I guess there was a Reddit post also that was like hoping that in seven day this year they were just going to announce that they were going to release a remastered version of like Mass Effect One or something. I'm like, that'd be cool. I'm okay with that. <laughs> See, that's what EA does. It, they, uh, they make a company make a really shitty game, and they use that as a reason to like get rid of them. That's what they did with Pandemic. Mm -hmm. That's what they did with a dozen others. Because remember, Pandemic's Pandemic's last game, I'm pretty sure was that Lord of the Rings Battlefront game. Which, yeah. it wasn't a bad game, it just didn't do well. It, well, didn't it, they even kill off, like, Naughty Dog or something recently? I don't no, think no, no, that's no, them no. that Naughty has Dog them, but there's someone that did You're that. You're thinking of okay. Visceral? And it might be Visceral. There was one company that I remember being really big that recently just got, like, wrecked. Yeah, <laughs> you're thinking of Visceral. They made Dead Space. Um, yep, them. That's and exactly they what were, I was thinking they of. They were working on um, 
shit, the Star Wars H3, uh, not H, uh, the um, 1313. Yep. Which I'm still going to cringe at every time I hear that. That's not a thing anymore. Oh, God. And, and, like, especially if you see the tech demo, it looks so cool. But then again, Force Awakens looked cool when you saw the tech demo of that. And Force Awakens, not Force Awakens, Force Unleashed. Yeah, I'm about to say. Like, Force Unleashed was a good game, but it was pretty much just a physics playground with a little bit of story written in there. Force Unleashed only rubbed me the wrong way when Andy brought home Force Unleashed 2 and beat it in three hours, and yeah. then it's like, DLC time! Yeah, we bought the DLC and beat that in 45 minutes. Yep. Oh my god. I remember, he beat the whole thing one night, and I I don't remember his reaction, but I just remember thinking, wow, I'm sorry, that was a waste. It re- oh god, it was so bad. I mean, it wasn't, like, it was fun to play, it was just too damn short. Like, I know mocap yeah, but, isn't cheap and all that animation isn't cheap, but the levels, they could have dragged the levels out. Well, and you're paying full price for it. I mean, you don't need fluff, but just add a little bit more to everything. Yeah. Like, give us a little more fun. Hell, put in a survival mode. But, yeah, stick in that Halo Reach final mission. Yeah, yeah. Halo Reach <laughs> was a great game. It was the only Halo game I've played just about all the way through. Uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. I wanted to get the Halo remastered, but I didn't have an, an Xbox One to play it on. That Halo that sounds that ha- good. Though. The Halo series remastered was it looked great, and it had the the you know trilogy, which were solid campaigns. Halo One was good. Halo Two was good. Halo Three was good. Yeah, I've I've, I've heard they still hold up too. Yeah, you go back and play the original versions of those games, and you they're dated. Even Halo One looks dated, but. It's still a beautiful game to look at. Yeah, well, I mean, KOTOR's dated, and I can still play it without crying. I can't. Okay. The only thing that bothers me about KOTOR when I go back and play it is everybody's teeth. They look dirty, somehow. <laughs> Never thought about that. Like, I, maybe I just had a busted copy of the game, but their teeth looked like they had a blue tint with, like, little black spots on them. I never noticed that. I'm going to have to look at that I'm, now. You know... And, you know, then there's the lip syncing, which was terrible. But, I mean, yeah, but that's just the time it was in. Like, back then, I didn't notice. Just going back to it now is when I can notice it. Well, even and modern then, games have that issue, so. Yeah. And that was back when you had to hand animate faces. Nobody was using mocap for video games except for maybe Gears of War. Which did well. Gears of War. I, I, did you play any of the Gears of War games? I've played a teeny bit of the multiplayer with my brother, and it was fun. It's just one of those things where I didn't have time to learn the game well enough. See, Gears of War is an example of a game that was made with co-op in mind. Did you die? No, what's the American Dream event? The American Dream... I think it's just a... I think it's just a generic, like, religion. What do you believe this religion truly means thing? And you pick it, you get some traits, you get some points. Oh, it is. You're right. I was hoping Panfield died is really what I was hoping. No, Panfield's not going anywhere at 102. Oh. And he's making well, prestige. We're do that. And he's making patriotism. Oh, gosh. And I, I, can't, but, I, like, I can't do anything to him. We'll have to kill him somehow. We're going to have to do something. Even if we have to, we, even we have to go above his godly powers and smite him with physics. Wait, is... Ask President Panfield to grant you a claim on the title of the presidency. This will cost you 100... I can't do it. it would, like, it physically won't let me. I have to have a positive opinion of Panfield. Can I... I can't... I can't influence his opinion. I don't know where he is. It says he's in Washington. <laughs> he really is! The, he really is the god of the Americanism. I don't know where he... <laughs> He's there, but we can't see him. We can't communicate. We can communicate, but he won't. Ah! I like it. I like it for the lore. I do. I really do. It's very cool. Very Warhammer-esque. We're just going to have to knock him out of the air. We're just going to have to lure him down and uh, find his kryptonite or whatever and uh, deal with him that way. I'm going into late feudal administration time. Oh, yeah. I've got laws to take care of. Do you ever bother but, with your but, vassal obligations, or do you just usually keep them in the middle? Um, I don't, but I've been told you want to get the, you know, your cities, your burgers, you want to get their money jacked up, and your castles, you want to go for the army. Okay. 
Because castles don't give you that much money, and cities don't give you har any good troops. So if you jack the burgers up to just money... Mm. But see, that's the thing about burgers. They like giving you troops over taxes. So it's like, do you want more money? They do, but that's because they give you so much more money yeah. if you give them the right, taxes. we'll give it a shot. Um, a lot of undecided men here. Let's go ahead and put it to a vote. I got time. They need, you know, I need to make them feel like they're contributing it, contributing in some fashion. Getting that grand palace, it's coming. Mm-hmm. But... So, oh, hey, uh, do you want KOE? Yeah, I was going to take KOE, and then that was going to be, like, the top of my border. Okay. Can I do anything with So that's kind of my border right there, if you include KOE. Um, and then, yeah, I was going to take KOE, Atlanta, and Hinesville, and then from there, I don't know. I figured you were going to go up north and work on the Amish and try to kick them out of I New really Jersey do. and Pennsylvania. Yeah, I need to work on the Amish. Oh. Well, do you have Washington? No, you have uh, Washington, but you don't have Baltimore. Damn it. I didn't end that war fast enough. <sighs> what happened? Mobile is growing. Crap. I wasn't paying Yes, it. they are. And attention. you're going to have to take care of that vassal. Yeah, let me grant. Holy crap. Wow, no, he's huge. Yeah, that's not good. So, do we want to take care of the rest of the Holy Columbian Confederacy after we clean up all of his former subordinates i'm honestly honestly i think our vassals are just gonna take care of it because i because i am i am personally eating the rest of, yeah oh finish off the confederates yeah yeah they kind of are who are you still oh, crap, i got round piece come on guys i've got to fight the lead belt at some point let's, to take let's um, act like adults here <laughs> adulthood what Okay, who... How long until this temple holds? Oh, this is perfect. Okay, this is my opportunity. So, are you fighting a war right now? Me, currently, no. Okay, I'm going to ask you for an alliance. If you don't want to fight the Amish, you don't have to, but I'd, I'd prefer to have the alliance in case we need it. I would... L I'm okay with coming up there. I have retinues there just about finished reforming, and I've got... How many men on my demands? Okay. About 3k. I should have 4k once it all finally replenishes. It's taking like three and generations. I'm going to in black so. in preparation. And what am I doing monetarily? I'm gotten money for mercenaries, which is good. Um, I got three loyalists on my account, so it's great. I'm just glad I finally got late administration. Now I just got to get all the council powers taken away. Hmm. So that's good, that's good. Epidemic. So it sounds like once you get Imperial Administration, you almost just knock the council out of power. God damn it. My brother is getting all of his land taken from him. That's why you don't have siblings. I know, right? Like, well, the reason I had him set up with all that land is because I was going to become him when I died. Yep. Mm. All right, so I'm ready to fight the the Amish. All right, I'm coming up north with my retinues at least. Do you want me to bring my demands? No, no, we won't need that much. And do you have the... Yes, you do, okay. Ooh, do I just take Allegheny? But that won't give me the border stage, which is what I need. Uh, have you invested any money in the Men in Black, or are they just kind of sitting there? Oh, do you invest money into them? Sometimes they ask, or you can give them la you can give them land, and they get bigger that way. It's like you can build like castles for no, them and stuff. They haven't asked me. Okay, interesting. Uh, I don't want just I don't want to fight over one territory, but I don't have any big wars for unless I can request an invasion. Prepare <laughs> invasion must have King Wade. Oh, that's me. Dang, I'm not paying attention at all to my religion conversion stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's get Tallahassee cleaned up, and then we'll go clean out the rest of the Rastafarianism. I've still got Cubano culture all up in this area. Hmm. I'm trying to see who has it, because I need to kick whoever it is out. It's this guy. You, can we... Can I revoke Fort Lauderdale? Nope. Barambola of Fort Lauderdale, you are the reason we are having... Problems. Hmm. I would like to educate his child. Okay, I don't have <laughs> the... So I'm just going to have to take these border states. Uh, make sure my mic's actually picking up. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been moving back and forth from the mic. The consumers did not get nearly as big as I was thinking they would. Yeah, they kind of fizzle out if they don't take hold right away. Well, they still own the starting territory they grabbed, so... There's that. Oh, I need to call you. There you go. Oh, yeah. I can decline, but I'd lose all my prestige. Yes, you would. Don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, no. Of course not. So you're going to become Emperor, so I shouldn't make an Emperor title, right? No, don't make an Emperor title. I mean, unless okay. you really need to, but I wouldn't. I might change my real title, though. That's fine. <laughs> I probably spelled it wrong, but there you go. Oh boy, let me take a look. <laughs> Disneyland! Disneyland. Yeah, I, you know, Disney's one of those words... I don't think there's an E. I think it might be D-I-S-N-Y. No, nah, there are six letters. Let's see, Dis... Disneyland spelled it right. Okay. Yeah, it's just one of those words... You just kind of like mentally tune out because you never really spell it. Well, I've never, I've never seen the last name in my life. Like I've never seen any just ran to anyone that's had the last name. It's like, yeah, no, I'm not related. Well, that's the like that's the thing. The only version of the name most people ever see is that really intricate cursive. But it. Yep. I mean, you can't interpret anything out of that. Like the first letter looks like a G for God's sake. Who is the Disney, Who's says Google. Gidney. G -g 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 -g. Words. I should pump money into my trade posts. That's what I should be doing. I'll put a garrison down in this one. Why not? I will train my dog. Yes, I will. Now, can I take this from this guy? Good old Soto. Soto, I need Soto, to... So so to ah. Yeah, because I've still got some guys that are trying to go all feudal over here, and it's really a pain. Port Count Hammond of Ocala. Oh well, at least we got Canaveral taken care of. I need to finish building up Miami next. How long is this realm piece going to last? 57 months, that's fine with me. That's a long time. It is. I should be using that more often. It's pretty useful. Military organization level three finally. Oh yeah, yeah. I upgraded that. I need to. Um, I need to fix. I need to add some retinue. I'll take care of that in a minute. See, I'm trying to kick the the charismatics out of Tallahassee. Once we got, we have more moral authority than them. After that, it's just kicking the Rastafarians out of Palm Beach. Oh, the mayor is converted. That's very good, actually. Um, yeah, some are just on my way up. Hmm. Can I get female power up? How did the how did in this whole Armageddon thing? How did the women lose all their power again? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, in some parts of the world, it's better off. Like, but for us, it's it went all the way back. To, I guess they're just trying to revert back to the way things were in 1776. I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure how uh, laws work for... Just law-wise, I want to know. Yeah, I'm not sure. It might be different in other parts of the country. Like, I think the occultists give them a little more power. Oh, the Caribbean's also kind of flaking a little bit. Yeah. 